Hello everyone and welcome back to Placement Buddies. Let me welcome you all to another episode of Let's Hear From The Experienced. And today in order to share her interview experience with Paytm, we have Shomdhuti with us. Hello Shomdhuti, welcome to Placement Buddies. Hey, hi Sagar Bhaiya. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. So Shomdhuti, tell us about our audience. Uh, sure. So yeah, hi everyone. I am Shomdhuti Rajgupta. I am a very small and timid town in the northern area of Tripura, which is called Kailashahar. And I graduated this year uh, from NIT Agartala with a degree in Electronics and Communication Engineering. Uh, but right now, ironically, I work as a software engineer in Paytm, which has nothing to do with my degree. So Correct. Yeah, that's about it. When have you guys realized that, okay, let us, like, Electronics and Communication ke field, mein bhale na ho, but we have to master the art of uh, software skills or, like, we have to go for coding jobs? When did you guys realize that as a whole? Uh, everything was very uncertain. We didn't know if the core jobs like are going to be sustainable or not. And everything was very uncertain. So, yeah, we just started exploring around the software side a bit. So, yeah, that's how it started basically in the pandemic. Time. Correct. So, uh, when did Paytm came to your campus and uh, what was the eligibility criteria? Guys, before we move ahead, you might not know that many of you about 93% of you do not subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, do press the bell icon. I request you all. Now let's continue. Uh, so Paytm came uh, around in I think initial phase of August and uh, the eligibility criteria I think was 7 CGPA above and I think no backlog. Okay. So this was the eligibility criteria and yeah, it was listed like in the initial days of August. Hmm. And only circuital branches were eligible, right? Yeah, yeah, only circuital branches were eligible for Paytm. Correct. And what was the selection process? Yeah, so the selection process was first there was a resume shortlisting, but I don't think many resumes got rejected from that round. Mm -hmm. But after that, there was a coding round. Uh, so, and after the coding round, they uh, like selected I think 45 to 50 students who were eligible for the technical rounds and there were two technical rounds and after that there was an HR round and then yeah, that's it. So there was no APT round uh, as okay. such for Paytm. Mm -hmm. So in the resume shortlisting, uh, what do you think, what elements of resume can make make uh, a candidate, you know, provide that kickstart for getting shortlisting, uh, shortlisted in uh, such uh, companies? Yeah, I think uh, for companies like Paytm, you have to have like few projects I think you need to mention and I, I'm not saying that you have to have like really complex or fancy projects. Correct. Just have few projects and just like obviously you have to write that you know DSA, algorithm, mm -hmm. C plus plus Java, whatever language. So yeah, those basic stuff I think will get li at least like pass this resume shortlisting down. Correct. And after resume shortlisting, it was uh, the coding round, right? So in coding yeah, round, uh, how many coding questions were there and uh, concept platform mein wo? Yeah, so the platform was CoCube hmm. and uh, they gave us three coding questions to solve. I don't really remember the time. Maybe it was 45 minutes or one hour. I'm okay. like not sure because it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, there was three coding questions. And if you ask about the level, they were like easy to medium level, they were not hard and like they were not like very hard from like graphs and DP and stuff like that. Okay. There were some basic like link list, uh, binary search tree, uh, like stuff like that. So the medium level, I think you have to like, like do more for this. Correct. And uh, like from where did you prepare all those? Like as you said, ki link list or uh, binary sort of equations. What were yeah. your sources of preparation before exam? Yeah, so like every placement preparing student will say like these studies and lead code are like the Bible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so for me, I started with few courses on Udemy as well. Okay. But uh, I like later on realized that like I, this is not giving me any hand on practice, you know. Correct, so correct. Hmm. So just the theory, theoretical knowledge is not enough. Hmm. So I think I bought a course on lead studies also where they like, uh, like first gave the theoretical knowledge about this particular topic and then they gave us many problems to solve one another. Like if I have to advise someone, like theoretical knowledge is obviously like good, but I think like hands-on practice 
like you should start earlier correct so that is what i i have learned from my experience and yeah so big for gifts i have start initially i started with big for gifts and then later on i also started like on beach code and stuff because in beach code you will find like much more variety of problems mm-hmm. so i think this is also a like good thing to practice like beach code and beach code स्टूडेंट्स ऑफन गेट कन्फ्यूज की कौन से प्लेटफॉर्म से उनको स्टार्ट करना चाहिए एंड देन मूव टूवर्ड्स तो गिक्स फॉर गिक्स एंड लिट कोड में यू फाउंड लाइक इजी इंटरमीडिएट डिफिकल्ट लेवल के सारे लेवल के क्वेश्चन यू फाउंड राइट या बट इन माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस इफ यू आर टू स्टार्ट एट समथिंग देन जस्ट स्टार्ट एट गिक्स फॉर गिक्स वंस यू आर लिटिल बिट लाइक अवेयर ऑफ वॉट लाइक हाउ थिंग्स गो इन कोडिंग क्वेश्चन एंड स्टफ यू 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 मूव ऑन टू लिट कोड बिकॉज in geeks for geeks there are also like very like basic uh, kind of questions from which you can start you know if you are a beginner so like uh, also again i'm saying from my personal experience so i think you know, like for me it worked to start at geeks for geeks and then moving on to lead code so yeah correct so uh, once you were shortlisted from the coding round uh, interview hua right so you said yeah. there were two rounds of technical interview and one round of hr interview so how different were those two rounds of technical interviews kis type ke questions puche gaye the and what was your approach yeah so the first technical round was mostly coding questions mm-hmm. like both of them lasted for one hour okay? okay so the first first technical round was mostly coding questions i think uh, interviewer saw gave me two or three coding questions to solve and there were like five six minutes discussion on my project Mm-hmm. but contrary to that on the second code uh, second technical round it was like mostly based on my project like i okay. had a, like 45 minutes discussion with my interviewer around my project on the and in the end he just asked me like one coding question and that also he just asked me the approach okay. like i didn't have to solve or like write the code mm-hmm. so for me that worked like uh, this was the only like, kind of thing that happened in my job okay yeah. technical round uh, one may the coding questions which uh, they asked you uh, were they the similar coding questions which appeared in the online test or they were different no, they were different but again uh, i think uh, there were three coding questions right i think one or one was from stacks and queues one was from i think binary search tree another was uh, from i think sorting searching of errors like okay, that okay. so again they were medium medium level questions not hmm. that hard but yeah they were not like same or exact similar as the coding okay. round questions they were not asking for the exact solution they were in fact asking for the approach right no the for, in the first round they asked for the solution solution like i yes. i had to code it out but okay, in the okay. second round uh, the interviewer said he asked me for the approach mm mm-hmm. and as you mentioned ki second round mein it was like the most of the discussion was around your project so yeah. what type of projects have you pursued at that time and how like how important it plays a role how what type of importance it plays uh, in the interview uh, i need uh, like for me i need projects like there one or two are group projects on mm-hmm. of you were my like self project so uh, as i mentioned uh, projects i made on some e-commerce website like stuff like that generic stuff all of the students yeah. make yeah. Website, right? yeah yeah <laughs> so but one thing that you have to make sure is that you understand every nook and corner of your project correct like mm. don't just make the project for the sake of putting it on your resume correct. okay mm-hmm. you have to understand every detail of your project else because the interviewer is a very experienced person he will catch that you are bluffing right mm-hmm. so so just am i best be to make sure that you know every detail of your project and also like have a bit of knowledge around the framework you used on the project because okay. in my experience i made projects using javascript and node.js right mm-hmm. so my interviewer also asked me conceptual questions around the same like framework okay so uh, yeah so i i think like those are not related to my project but those are conceptual questions related to the framework i used so they may also ask you like things like that so you need to be prepared right so have like uh, like i think people should have like a bit of knowledge or conceptual idea about the frame of their using so yeah hmm knowledge of computer science fundamentals also plays a vital role yeah here. yeah 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 knowledge of computer science fundamentals also plays a vital role but again being a like uh, non ha, correct yeah we had to study all of those extra like thousand bit of yeah yeah so you have actually adapted for the companies you were actually preparing for so that's a very appreciable thing 
yeah so and then like uh, we totally the like rejected the ece <laughs> part out of it so everything was csc oriented how difficult was it for you people to manage college professors ki okay ye sab academics to baad mein hoti rahegi we have to prepare for placements also <laughs> Yeah that is true but i think uh, one thing that played in our favor is the covid and the pandemic yeah. so mm. yeah because the like classes were online so we did get a bit of relaxation on the academic part mm-hmm. so we could focus uh, more on the placement preparation because those two things like don't coincide those exactly. are entirely different for mm-hmm. us yeah okay so after then after that uh, it was the hr round what happened in the hr round what type of questions were asked yeah so the hr round was a very like what to say it was a very short like 5 minutes round and for me it was even telephonic round because okay. uh, by the time my turn came it was very late at night so i think they started like like telephonic interviews mm-hmm. and so it was like the generic stuff like how did your interviews go what do you know about our company why are you interested in working with us stuff like that so it was also i think those people who uh, got selected after the second like second technical round uh like none of them were screened out from the hr round so all of them got the like got okay. hired awesome yeah, so it was kind of a non elimination round awesome and uh, since we have now discussed about the selection process how different do you feel like preparing for placements and actually after getting into ptm how different it is what's the work culture and uh, what oh, things yeah. you need to learn uh, newly Yeah, everything is different. Everything you have to again start from scratch, you know, mm-hmm. when you are working from a for a company. So again, uh, I, I think uh, you have to learn new languages, new frameworks, new tech stacks, and everything. So it's just a learning process. Uh, but alongside with it, in, in, in you have to learn plus work. Correct. So yeah. So in placement, you learn and you learn for your own self. But in like companies, you have to learn plus work and implement and show this to the stakeholders. So mm-hmm. yeah. client is a priority again in yeah, jobs yeah again yeah yeah okay okay shamdeep that was uh, very nice hearing you out uh, so before wrapping it up any particular tips which you want to give to uh, our juniors who are aiming for ptm in the future uh not particular to ptm but i think there are a few things that might play into your favor during an interview like uh, suppose an interview gives you a interviewer gives you a coding question to solve right mm. obviously writing out or coding it out uh, like is like great you are able to code it out it's great but i think what adds more value to it is like explaining your solution and approach to interviewer in a yeah. very clear and crisp way mm-hmm. so i think that adds more value to it so i think that is uh, one thing i followed and i think it worked in my favor so that is one thing and another thing is that uh, i would suggest everyone to keep uh, your interview you know like a discussion Yeah. It should not be like a question and answer thing correct, going correct. on because those are not your professors they mm-hmm. they are sitting right. So suppose your interviewer asks you a question and obviously unless you are like high end coder or something you can't like get the answer like in the like in, at that moment right. Mm-hmm. You have to think a bit. So you have to take your time. But it shouldn't be like that. Your interviewer sitting in front of you, you are just scribbling and thinking of the answer, and there is an awkward silence. You know, mm-hmm. because okay. I think that adds a bad impression. So I think you should like keep it discussional. See, sir, I am thinking around this line. I am thinking on this approach. I think this can work, and I'll uh, like do the solution like that. And that. if your interviewer is not satisfied, he will actually guide you. Yeah. See, uh, Acha, you think it's uh, it's this approach that should be followed, but I think you can think around that line too. I think because in my experience, I've seen that if you like uh, frame your interview like a conversation or a discussion, your interviewer actually helps you. He Correct. gives input. Mm-hmm. So I think it also adds a lot of value to it. And also another thing that uh, I actually learned from one of your videos is that. Uh, If if you are not aware of any answers in the question uh, like, or uh, any of the answers, just uh, politely say that I'm sorry, sir. I at this moment right. I can't recall it, but uh, I'm sh- I I will look into it after the interview. This also shows that you are curious, but Correct. you are also like not aware of it, but you are curious of the like whatever question he is asking. So I think I uh, learned it from one of your videos. That is my pleasure. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I have covered it somewhere in this HR interview playlist, and uh, actually it gives. the interviewer an impression that okay this guy is willing to learn even though he is not able to remember right now yeah. but he might have known this answer 
a few days back or few months back but okay not able to recall right now so we can give him a relaxation that can happen yeah, exactly because because this exact thing in my ptm interview in second round i could not recall a particular thing mm. and i said to my interviewer sir i am not able to uh, recall it right now but i'll look into it still. so he actually said to me that yeah i like i like the fact that you are curious about the correct thing. you know because he actually said acknowledge the fact that i said this and i think for interviews is a great thing so so this is like one thing i also urge the juniors to follow so yeah this few things small details that will actually play in your favor during the interview i think yeah so yeah. this is what uh, you know differentiates an interview from a viva if it's like a yeah. normal uh, you know to and fro throwing of questions and answers then it becomes as you said a, a moment uh, uh, comes where there is an awkward silence you keep on solving that exactly. question and interviewer is waiting for you when you will be able to complete instead of that you discuss the approach you discuss step wise you keep interacting you keep uh, your panel involved with you it is a good thing yeah as you rightly said or uh, uh, and also just these are the we are the the the, the people who are sitting for placements right now after few months they will be the ones who will be dealing with clients and stuff, exactly right mm-hmm. so this is the kind of uh, conversation they should be having with the clients also so i think interviewers judge that thing also if they are capable of handling clients Correct. and like be in the corporate world so, client yeah. facing ability is one of the most important skills which companies do look for in uh, college yeah, graduates exactly. nowadays exactly even if your job is to like as a software engineer you don't like you don't have to like much deal with clients you have to just code mm-hmm. and everything but again this is like kind of training you should have because sometimes there are big meetings and big presentations you have to do in front of the stakeholders yeah so yeah these are like you never like, know requirement might arise at any exactly. time mm-hmm. exactly exactly so these are like uh, stepping stones correct and also guys i must mention shomduti is one of our prime viewers she has uh, watched a lot of videos from placement buddies and i am glad that we could help you out with at least yeah. coding se na se at least char interview questions or the approach say i could help you out exactly so, exactly i am it's my yeah. pleasure to help you out yeah like i said it's like a full circle moment <laughs> correct correct yeah seeing placement buddies videos getting placed and then again coming to placement buddies for sharing your interview experience yeah we've come a long way Yeah. yeah, we have. Okay. Thanks a lot Shamduti for coming to Placement Buddies and sharing your interview experience. It was my pleasure hosting you. We wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me again. Yeah. Bye.